Alright, so today we are going to talk about the latest updates with regards to the interface of the Mustang Mach-E. Okay, so without further ado, yeah, this update was like a few days back, uh, about three days from now. So today was is February 4, so they just released this February 1st. Okay, so anyway, um, not much of a difference actually. It's more of an Android tablet now rather than the customized Ford interface so right now um, you can see that I just turned on the vehicle I'm at 267 kilometers um, it's on the park mode not much uh, happening right now and I've connected my phone on this uh, app now let's go ahead and navigate now on the center console, normally you will see the the icon, the car icon at the top, right? For the old menu or menu. Now this uh, interface doesn't show that anymore. So basically you have three icons at the top, the house, the settings, and the camera. So let's start with the camera. Actually, I like how they set it up like this because you can easily navigate on the top left. Okay, not like the old uh, interface before that you have to click on the car then navigate through the settings and go to this uh, third tab different tabs to access those settings now for the con for convenience purposes they just put the camera here if you want to check where you are uh, this is the front camera you can switch wherever actually so I just need the overall view of where you are right now, currently on uh, side parking on the street. And this is the front camera, like I'm saying, if you want to see what's going on in front. So yeah, it's very helpful actually uh, in this setup. You can easily access the camera and switch back to your navigation. Now for the settings, basically they just consolidate everything um, for your controls, the drive mode, so you still see the whisper, engage, and unbridled uh, settings. You can easily just press and switch wherever you like. Whisper, of course, is uh, my preferred drive because I drive slowly. <laughs> I wish. Anyway, <laughs> so like I'm saying, so you have your general uh, settings here. I mean, your options, your general settings is here. Now, one thing that you notice here, you don't see the... Uh, charge um, option where you can see the, the the icon of the car or the battery where you see uh, what's going on with your charging rate that my friend is already added to home button okay so when you switch to ho home button you will see the charging icon here so while charging let's say you're in park mode and you're charging you can just go to home and click on uh, charge button and you will see what's going on on your battery and the charge rate so on and so forth okay uh, same as the normal setting I mean the previous setting you could just navigate through departure and comfort and set up what you need to do early in the morning uh, before you leave right charging locations same same stuff nothing changed you just add the charging uh, station you like to add and the time so on and so forth all the good stuff right okay so for the home button basically you have your um, important icons set up here if you're connected to Android Auto you can just switch to Android Auto if you'd like that's connected to my phone uh, well I don't want to show you my phone list of course so I can uh, switch to navigation and that's it man basically you just play around all right going back back to home um yeah so i got my media tire pressure owner's manual radio so go to entertainment tab you have your games all right well i don't usually play all this <laughs> kid stuff but you know it's good to you know play around i'd say I don't care I'm not the player of this stuff 
anyway so yeah basically that's it uh, for the navigation the three buttons up top left it's easy to access easy to navigate is it close yeah okay I'll just go back to navigation here all right and for the tabs the recently open application you can navigate down here right so that's where they are so recently open tabs so you just click on there um, is there a limit basically I think there's six only six one two three four five 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 tabs I don't know if you, I can add more but uh, for now that's the standard setting okay now going to the main update on this interface is actually the volume knob it's no longer just the volume that it controls it also controls the climate options so we have the climate settings here you just need to uh, press on it tap and then you can just switch right you only have the like four seconds once you tap it to switch so you can easily adjust your climate control through the volume knob so it's just no longer the volume same thing goes to the fan to the heated seats there you go fan level one okay can it be done on the other side too yes you can same thing same stuff okay um, climate control yeah same thing when you want to uh, dedicate your fan to everything you can see where the air is flowing basically that's it right centralized dual okay now after you're done well what else can you do you just need to switch on home go to navigation if you like or you can just click on the recently opened tabs like I said I want to see my charge rate right now so I'm at 93% can switch back to navigation easily so in my opinion it's more simplified it's more um, how do you call that interactive in a way it's uh, in consolidated all the necessary settings that I like to change is centralized you can also navigate through your profile I forgot that uh, lonely icon at the top right okay I can create my profile but I rather not to because this is being driven by me and my partner okay so that's the biggest update on this car how about the other board well technically nothing actually there's nothing changed on the uh, main dashboard or the driver's uh, dashboard here so you can just see the speed limit range um, the distance you accumulated that's it nothing have changed maybe on a f um, future they will add something that it's more interactive on the uh, dashboard for the driver but for now I think it's sim simplicity is beauty that's one thing for me I like it simple so you see your uh, ground speed your range your state of charge I'm happy with it and with the navigation wise it's very simple easy to access right so you don't need to make it complicated all right so that is for the update thank you so much for watching stay healthy stay safe peace out guys yeah. I spit raps like a heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions, fact don't ask, grab reactions, jacked attack with every word, then act with class as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they